Hey guys, so we are about four months into this year, 2022, and there has been so many changes and so many updates when it comes to being a influencer and just growing on social media in general. So it's definitely safe to say that becoming an influencer in 2022 is definitely not the same as becoming an influencer in the past, it's not the same, a lot has changed. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to become a influencer slash content creator in 2022. So the reason I say a influencer slash content creator, because those two categories are very different. They are not the same at all. So a content creator is literally going to be a person who creates content it could be in the form of a blog it could be in a video form or also in the form of pictures their sole purpose is to create and produce content so influencers also create content but the difference between influencers and content creators is that influencers are able to get in touch with their following on a personal level Influencers are better known for the connection they have with their audience. So literally the influence that they have on their followers. Influencers connect more deeply with their followers than content creators do. So the main purpose of becoming a content creator is literally to be able to produce and create content. So before you even think about or worry about like making money as a content creator, if this is something that you're coming into new, definitely do not jump into being a content creator or an influencer just because you want to make money off of it. It's definitely not gonna work out for you. You have to love the entire process of becoming a content creator or an influencer. You have to fall in love with that process and you have to have a passion for it. Because if you feel like you have to go out your way and record and produce content and oh, you don't wanna do this, you'd rather be doing something else, then doing this is not gonna be for you. So a lot of time is gonna to have to be put into becoming a influencer, content creator. You're gonna to have to put a lot of time and you're also gonna to have to put in money to be a content creator. So if this is something that you're not in for the long run, then just save yourself the trip and the disappointment because you're gonna to have to buy equipment such as ring lights. You're gonna make sure you, you have to make sure you have the best iPhone so you're giving the best quality. So you definitely have to put time and money into this. So let's hop into my five tips for becoming a content creator or influencer in 2022. My first tip is going to be choose your platform or not. Okay, so when you do your research and you're watching a bunch of YouTube videos on how to become a content creator, everyone is gonna tell you to pick a platform. Pick your one platform that you want to market yourself on. I do not agree with this because if you just focus on one platform, it's like you're not giving yourself the chance to grow on all of these other platforms. And we all know there are so many social media platforms. So I definitely suggest that you guys try each platform, even if you are repurposing your content and just taking your videos that you make on TikTok and you're putting it on Facebook, you're putting it on Instagram, you're putting it on YouTube shorts, you're putting it on Pinterest, you're putting it on Twitter. I know it's so many platforms, but you are not going to find your it platform unless you experiment with all of these platforms. Each platform is different they all have different algorithms so you have to figure out which platform is going to give you the visibility and the reach that you are looking for personally for me my strong platform would be TikTok because I have over half a million followers on TikTok. And I would say it would also be YouTube because my YouTube is growing very well. TikTok and YouTube are definitely one of my stronger platforms. So just keep that in mind. You are not gonna have the same amount of followers on each platform. You have to figure out which platform 
works the most for you. So the second tip I'm gonna give you guys is going to be quality over quantity. So we all know that putting out the best quality a1 quality content is always going to be better than putting out a mass production of content. But when you're just starting off, you will definitely have the upper hand if you are already starting off with amazing quality. It took me years to get to the quality that I'm at now. So if you are skipping that phase of starting with low quality and you're starting with amazing quality, your page is gonna grow so much faster. Becoming a content creator in 2022, you guys have so many advantages, things that we did not have when I started back doing YouTube and Instagram. Like we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the quality is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but most people, when they are creating content, they're using their iPhones. You do not have to go out and buy a fancy Canon camera like I'm using. This is for YouTube, so I make the exception, but you do not need a fancy camera. You can use your iPhone. So you guys have a great advantage in saving money and not having to buy a super fancy setup. You literally just need your iPhone. So try to keep up to date with the latest iPhone because the quality does get better. Every year they come out with a new iPhone, the quality always gets better. So stay up to date with the iPhones and get yourself a ring light. That's literally all you need. A iPhone, a ring light, and a tripod. The third tip I'm gonna give you guys is finding a niche to excel in. As you guys know, you guys know me, I personally do not like to stick to a niche. That is why I would rather consider myself a influencer because I have supporters who are going to support me no matter what. But when you start out, you cannot be just an influencer. You don't start out as an influencer, you grow into it. You first start out as a content creator and then people start to support you no matter what you do and that's when you become an influencer. But when you are a content creator and you're just starting out, you need to have a niche because People are not gonna know what they are looking for in your page. They're not gonna know what you offer. And this is not going to help you become an influencer because you're literally going to be lost and you're gonna be creating so many different types of content. So you definitely want to niche down. So when I all started this becoming a content creator influencer, I started in the beauty category. A lot of people do start in the beauty category, but then we usually branch out to like fashion and then we start doing lifestyle and stuff like that because we have already grew our social media presence. But when you are starting out, you definitely have to start out with one niche. And once you grow to a larger audience, then you're able to be an influencer and people will support you no matter what you do. So that's why you see a lot of these famous influencers convert into lifestyle influencers. A lifestyle influencer is very broad. It's literally, you are your brand. Like Viva La Pink Posh is my brand. People love to just see me. They love to see my family traveling. If I'm making food, if I'm, it doesn't matter what I do. That's the whole thing about being a lifestyle influencer. People just appreciate you and they love you. So the fourth tip is going to be start promoting products that you already use, like products that you already buy, products that you stand by, products that you love, products from Amazon, Walmart, it doesn't matter. Every product has a name. Start by naturally and genuinely, authentically promoting products that you already use. So when companies and brands come to your page and they want to book you for campaigns or they wanna send you PR, they know what to expect. They know what they're gonna be getting because you're already giving them samples because you're putting out the content that you are looking to sell to these brands. So when you first start out, you're gonna have to start doing this free. You're gonna have to start buying stuff. You're gonna have to use stuff that you already buy and just promote it. So the cool thing nowadays is that we have affiliates, affiliates like Amazon. You don't need a huge following to be a Amazon affiliate. So if you're buying skincare products and it could be fashion products from Amazon, you can link these products in your Instagram description, TikTok, whatever social media description, you can link these products. And when someone buys this product using your Amazon affiliate link, you will earn a commission. So this is a awesome way of getting started making money using affiliate links when you're still a small influencer. And the last tip is going to be stay consistent. If you guys know anything, I am a very consistent person. Like I, 
I love posting. I just have such a passion for it. Um, not being consistent is completely out of the story. I love creating content. So you have to be consistent. You have to post daily. Posting a few times a week is not going to cut it. There's so much competition. Even though you should not worry about your competition, you do not want to slack. You want to stay on your A game and you want to be putting out content daily, especially now since Instagram has the reels option, which helps to grow your page so fast. So you should be wanting to post daily reels. You should be wanting to grow your page faster using Instagram reels because it's such a new feature. It's still a new feature. I swear, I feel like we did not have the advantage of Instagram reels, the amount of people that you can reach using reels. We did not have that before. So you guys have a great advantage. And also to add, TikTok is still in its prime. TikTok is still giving everybody the opportunity to go viral and reach millions of people. So definitely don't sleep on TikTok. So be consistent and try to post daily. I would definitely recommend batch creating. So Thursdays, video is going to be about batch creating so definitely make sure you subscribe to this channel and become a part of the notification gang so you're not missing these videos especially this video that's coming up on Thursday I'm going to be describing and explaining and showing you guys how to batch create your content so you're not running around like a headless chicken looking for things to post I absolutely hate that I plan my posts two weeks in advance. I have a post for every day. Sometimes I have multiple posts for a day and everything is just drafted and I just post and I go and engage and then I'm on my way. That's it. That's how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be like such a hassle to produce content or create content. It's not supposed to be a hassle. It's supposed to be easy and like post and go. <laughs> guys that's gonna be it for today's video on how to become a influencer in 2022 you guys know this is going to change every few months there's always updates so i feel like i always need to put out these type of videos to come here and update you guys on how to grow on social media and how to become content creators and influencers so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching see you guys on thursday and don't forget bye guys